Hi guys and welcome to Toots Online. Today we're going to go through the thoracic diaphragm. Uh, let's learn some features. It has a muscular left and right dome. fibrous central tendon and this central tendon forms the base of the pericardial cavity the diaphragm is attached to the sternum at the base of the siphoid process and it's also attached to the lower six ribs and the transverse abdominus muscle Okay, moving on. Okay, so we've also got some lumbar attachments of the diaphragm, and these are a bit complicated, but um, with a beautiful diagram, we will be able to see how these actually work. Okay. So here and here you have cura and these are the left and right cura and they join in the middle to form the median arcuate ligament. Median arcuate ligament. And there's only one. You've got your left cura and your right cura and your median arcuate ligament. Then we've got this here and this here. These are called the medial arcuate ligaments. And there are two of them. One and these are passing over a muscle called psoas major and also another one which is not well developed in most people called psoas minor then we have another two These are called the lateral arcuate ligament. And these pass over another muscle called quadratus lumborum. So this is how the diaphragm is attached to the lumbar region through these ligaments and cura. The median arcuate ligament arches over the aorta then we have the two cura then the medial arcuate ligaments which are passing over psoas major and minor then the lateral arcuate ligaments which are passing over quadratus lumborum we'll move on to 
blood supply. Superiorly, the musculophrenic. branches of the internal thoracic vessels and inferiorly we have the phrenic branches of the aorta. So Musculophrenic branches of the internal thoracic artery and vein are supplying and draining the superior portion of the diaphragm, whereas the inferior portion of the diaphragm is being supplied by the phrenic branches of the aorta. So directly off the aorta are the phrenic branches. Then we have the innervation of the diaphragm. This is by the phrenic nerve. And this gives both sensory and motor supply to the diaphragm. The phrenic nerve is derived by the ventral rami of spinal nerves C3 to C5 and it has a distinctive pathway in which it gets to the diaphragm so it crosses the anterior surface of scalenus anterior and enters the thorax from there it descends anteriorly to the root of the lung it passes through the muscular diaphragm adjacent to the central tendon And the right phrenic nerve passes through the carval aperture. So since we've talked about that, let's talk about structures which pass through the diaphragm. So since we've talked about that, let's talk about structures which pass through the diaphragm. Draw a picture. So here is that ligament arrangement. Here. At around about the level of T8, we have an aperture for the inferior vena cava, and this is at the edge of the right dome of the diaphragm near the junction of the muscle and the central tendon. So, T8, we have inferior vena cava, right side near the central tendon and the muscle. Then at about the level of T10, we have an aperture for the esophagus and the vagus nerve. And this is above, in front, and to the left of the aperture for the aorta, which is here. 
underneath the median arcuate ligament. So T10, aperture for esophagus and vagus nerve, above, in front and to the left of the aperture for the aorta. And the aperture for the aorta is at T12. About the level of T12. Other things which pass through it around this aperture are the thoracic duct, the azygous or hemiazygous vein, and the sympathetic trunks. And this is in the lower and most posterior portion of the diaphragm. So at the level of T8, we have the aperture for the inferior vena cava. At the level of T10, we have the aperture for the esophagus and vagus nerve. And at the aperture of T12, underneath the median arcuate ligament, we have the aperture for the aorta. And that about wraps it up for the thoracic diaphragm. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you come back and learn more about the human body. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.